I begin the process of creating my work with research. I do a lot of research. I usually do like a, like a rough draft or so on a piece of paper and then just kind of think about, okay, well, what parts do I want to be 3D? What parts do I not want to be 3D? What parts can, you know, will be able to flow easily? Like there, there just has to be a certain amount of flow with the 3D objects. It can't just go like, you know, something's 2D and then like all of a sudden it just kind of just pops out a little bit too much. And then, yeah, and then it just doesn't like, I don't know, it, it, there has to be um, a flow to the work. So I always try to make sure um, when I'm in that research stage that, you know, I'm really trying to figure out exactly how I want things to, um, how I want it to move and what I really want it to say. And, you know, I, I think about themes probably first. That's probably my first thing um, is, you know, trying to figure out exactly what theme I, I want. Or sometimes I just have a material that I know I really want to use um, or an idea that I really want to use and I, like how I can translate that into a painting. I find my inspiration from absolutely anywhere. Um, it could be online or it could just be um, just something that I'm just seeing just walking down the street, um, you know, I went to the Niagara Falls this past weekend and I saw, um, I just saw so many great things. The trees were absolutely beautiful because it's fall. And now I'm thinking I really want to do something that's um, very fall themed and with the different color leaves and just something just very like autumn-esque. Um, but like, like I was telling you before, Lily, Lily came from just me looking at those little Starbucks cups that people make. Holly came from um, just Christmas decorations that I saw people like, you know, little crafters making on YouTube. So it really just comes from a little spark somewhere. And then I kind of, you know, make it into um, a painting. My faces that I create are all collages of different people's faces. Um, somebody uh, who visited my show, they actually said that I'm, I'm kind of like a Frankenstein um, because <laughs> I take little pieces, like, I, um, like a little nose from somebody, or um, I'll take, um, you know, somebody's like, just, you know, chin structure. Or I'll take somebody's like lips or um, take somebody's teeth a tooth arrangement and I will kind of add that into um, just like one one collage of a person <laughs> and I like to do that well one because I don't like too much um, using just somebody um, face on because uh, I, I like to create the people I think that's really fun for me actually I, I really I really like to just create a new person um, and Honestly, also because I think it's really cool when people come to me and they're like, that looks like this person I know. That looks like this person I know. Oh my gosh, that's like my mom. That's my aunt. And I'm, it's it was most definitely not their mom or their aunt, but it's really cool just to see how people relate to those um, to those faces and they relate to uh, just like, you know, the figures and everything, which is really cool. One of the ones that I really had a lot of trouble with was Mocha. Um, she was uh, the chocolate bar, and I think I had such a, a just a huge problem or a huge just challenge just trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to make her wrapping paper. I experimented a lot with a lot of different types of materials, trying to figure out which one is going to create the the candy bar look that I'm looking for. Like you know when you really wrap rip open um, a candy bar and like you know it's all frayed and. Um, it's, it's very imperfect. And so um, I, I did end up using paper mache and then I, I put gold leaf on top of it. And I'm glad I kind of went through all of those different channels to try to figure out what I wanted to do because I also figured out more things that I could do for other paintings that could work for something else. If it didn't work for this one, that's okay, but it could also work for something else.
I know when it's finished, when like, you know, all of the ideas that I've came, that I came up with in the beginning, um, you know, during my research and my planning stages, you know, are all laid out there in front of me. And I, I really just kind of just feel fulfilled. You know, I have to kind of take it away from me for a while, then come back and look at it and then think about it like, oh, you know, did I really want to do this? Or was I just being over dramatic and I just wanted to add something else to it, you know? So um, definitely just kind of taking some time away from the piece and coming back, you know, you really start to realize maybe it is actually done. <laughs>